Hello guys, today we learn how to import data from Excel into SQL Server table using SQL Server Integration Services SSIS. For this you have required Visual Data Tools for Visual Studio 2015 or SQL Data Tool or Visual Studio 2019 and SQL Server Instance and one Excel sheet with data for import. Now let us start. Open Visual Studio. Now go to File, Projects. Then I have to choose Business Intelligence Integration Services. Then click on Integration Services Project and put here Import Data from Excel to SQL Server using SSIS. Now click on OK button. Go to SSIS tools. First you will see data flow tasks. What is data flow tasks? Let us see. Data flow tasks is one of the most used tasks in SSIS packages. The purpose of the data flow tasks is to flow load the data from different types of sources and put them into different types of destinations. So you can first you need to click on data flow talks I click on data flow talks pull it and take it from left to in middle side and then need to click double click on this data flow talks you can see here connection manager and you have to right click here to add new connection manager to add the SSIS package means here I have to write the uh, like what is source data source and what is destination source now our data source is excel so go here and take excel there is one option is here like new connection file connection also when you will we you will go SSIS tools then you can check other sources like Excel source then click on Excel shows and you will see this is icon Excel source you can also change this name of the Excel source now double click on it and Excel connection manager then put here new Excel file like this one and click on open open and you can see here microsoft excel 97 2003 and click on ok check sheet one and click on ok button then your excel source date connection listing has been configured now i have to put here destination connections and then go destination other destination then here you can see O L E D B connect destination then click on double click and you will get O L E D B connection and after that you map this excel source to destination where excel data goes to O L E D B connection then click on double this icons and you will get like new delete this one click on new and now we have to put here server name what will server name your name of the computer here server name is this in case in the case of yours you will put your connection then put here server name then you will take authentication Windows authentication or SQL Server authentication. Take it. SQL Server authentication. Put user ID like this and their password. Then you need to select the database. Test samples and click on test connection. So you see the message test connection succeeded and click on OK then okay then okay now also i need to mapping click on 
name of the table or view also need to put here so click on new if table is not in the destination table new and you can put here employee id that is float you can put here like integers and destination table name like i need to put here tbl employee details and click on ok button then go to mapping so you can see here mapping is already there imply id imply name ct and certainly and click on ok button so our source and distinction has, has been configured and now need to run this application click restart so you can see in both like green sign and their green sign green sign that is when our package successfully runs and also you will get here three rows affected so means our data will be transferred from excel to destination with the use of SSIS. Now we need to check either it is data imported in table or not. So go to this one and write a query select star from table name, table imply details, and click on execute. So you will get here three rows. So this that so this way we can import the data from excel to destinations thanks for watching my youtube videos if you want to more videos please subscribe my youtube channel